in a world where extreme competition exists everywhere what does it take to have success in your career and in life join me nirvana chaudhary as i sit down with some of the most successful individuals to discover the secrets to the success what continues to drive them and to hear a few exclusive stories in the process what drives them and their success code their mantra for making it bigger Hello everyone this is Nirvana Chaudhary I'm back with my podcast making it bigger I'm always blessed to have amazing people around me sharing their life stories sharing their journey as an entrepreneur and today I have someone who has really really been through ups and downs who can really share with us some of the biggest learnings he's had in his life Today I have with it with us someone who's been a leader a pioneer in the entertainment um the industry in Nepal i have with me mr nakimuddin who i call nakim dai someone who i've learned a great deal in my life uh nakim dai you've really really transformed and revolutionized how people watch movies how uh in the exhibition part how movies are made you have sort of gathered your experience from around the world and tried bringing it to nepal what is it that drives you as a human being as an entrepreneur and what is that one success mantra that you have thank you nirvan for having me on your podcast like you said since it's a uh, it's easy to be a pioneer but then it's very difficult to sustain it as a business so we've been in this business for almost 20 years now and uh, we've seen a lot of ups and downs but then uh, being a first generation uh, business we really need to be focused and uh, and be innovative to stay in the business for longer run at the moment because of pandemic our business has been badly hurt for last one one and a half years and uh, we've been utilizing this time to consolidate innovate uh, and once we open then we open um, much better better than before so a uh, lot of focus and lot of responsibilities goes in to sustain this as a business and your success mantra well uh, uh, mostly because uh, uh, i feel like uh, uh, it's a responsibility so constant uh, constantly we have to innovate uh, focus and a uh, lot of hard work so that uh, we still uh, maintain our leadership in the field so uh, nakinda you know uh, you i i see you as as a true entrepreneur even in the most difficult times you're constantly adapting and and shifting and taking advantage of new business opportunities and immediately go, going with it right very rarely have i come across entrepreneurs who like they say in our part of the world that who touches something turns to gold you are such an individual and i i guess you really sort of assess new opportunities from your gut how important is an entrepreneur to look at his instincts or his gut feel uh as an entrepreneur uh, the journey is uh, limitless and there are so many things uh we can uh, evolve uh, to and uh, i personally feel uh during the pandemic i started a small business uh which is a frozen momo business today it employs around 15 people and during this such a difficult time to even to employ giving employment to 15 people uh, i mean it makes uh, uh, it contributes something to the society and country at large but then saying that uh, uh, this uh, dna of uh, entrepreneurship uh, always uh, keep puts us push puts us on our toes to keep on trying new things and uh, pursue our own uh, sometimes fun projects too straight from the gut uh, assessing the market and just going at it uh, that's what i've known uh, nakim dai always do now nakim dai sometimes in a life of an entrepreneur you go through the lowest part of your point of your life right you're going in a point where everything is going against you nothing is going right but still you need to have that that resilience that state of mind to fight back 
you know what are some of the some of the traits you want to share of the mindset or an attitude or or mantra you need to have to stay afloat and come out from that put pitfall uh like i said earlier uh, this pandemic has taught us a lot of uh, lesson especially in our uh, cinema exhibition field we have uh, uh we have uh, expanded ourselves almost all over nepal and because of uh, this pandemic uh, w- one of the most uh, hardest hit industry is cinema industry and uh, instead of uh, losing hope uh, we decided we will consolidate we will put in new innovation into the business and then uh, and, uh, consolidate to the extent that uh, we wanted to get rid of uh, a couple of uh, you know non performing uh, businesses and uh, getting exit from those businesses so that when we start uh, fresh we can start better and uh, and uh, uh, and still uh, maintain our you know uh, leadership uh, in this field nakim da you know uh, today's day and age you're constantly surrounded by technology and social media and and so much of chaotic aspects in your life right and i always see you as an individual who is serene calm well balanced uh, you know you're loved by everyone uh, who are around you uh, how important is it to sort of remain grounded or have that sense of humility you can still be aggressive but you can still remain humble well, what are your views on that well uh, it, thank you for saying that i, I look uh, calm and patient and uh, and that's how that's what you see but then my <laughs> mind is constantly working and uh, i'm constantly i mean uh, struggling uh, within uh, uh, with my thoughts and with my uh, struggles uh, for like uh, uh, my own sort of uh, thinking and crystallizing those thoughts so anakim da you know from a uh, absolute age you are way way older than me but from your heart you're way way younger than me so someone who's got so much of youthfulness in his state of mind uh into his perspective towards life uh what is the one message you'd like to give the next generation not on his work but more in terms of perspective towards life you know what should the young generation constantly be striving for what is the most important thing they will probably realize when they get to your age but what is it that you'd like to tell them today well uh, i have a very young team and i work with a lot of young people uh, rather than me teaching them i learn a lot of things from these youngsters these days and i get a lot of uh, new uh, perspectives from them which uh, helps me to you know innovate myself as well my mess- message to all the uh, youngsters are like uh, uh, do what uh, makes you happy and do it honestly and pur- pursue it as a career and uh, there's no sh- shortcut to it and uh, you need to uh, have a lot of hard work into it so that's my message to all the youngsters and uh, nakim dai how i completely agree with you uh, you know i think one thing that resonates with everyone is hard work there are no shortcuts and you know as a leader it's amazing to hear that it's not you who's constantly teaching them something but you're o- you have an at open mind of also learning from them as well that's an amazing trait and uh, aspect uh, Uh, of uh, leadership that you have lastly uh, nakim da what i want to ask you is that how important is it to surround yourself with like minded people with people who give positive vibes it's very important to have your surroundings with uh, positive minded people you know fun loving people people with a uh, good sense of humor and uh, i mean uh, it uh, it makes you positive and your uh you learn from them and uh, you also get energized from their uh, from them so for me i mean i spend most of my time with this uh, positive thinking and uh, innovative people so that i can also learn and uh, evolve myself accord- accordingly someone very humble someone who's ever learning ever green thank you so much nakin dai for being part of this show i thoroughly enjoyed learning a lot from you not only during this show but i'm blessed to have you as part of my life 
I wish you all the best for your new endeavors and your new ventures. Thank you so much.